Two very simple mods. Whack a great big turbo on it and give it some decent tires. Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Gran Turismo 2 here on Chaz Draycott Media. Now before you is the magnificent plum crazy Dodge Charger from 1971, which we have currently at 405 brake horsepower. In the last episode we were racing in the Historic Car Cup. This is, as per the rules of the game, a historic car. What we need to do though is take the racing exhaust off it, which we have on it currently, and pretty much that be it. We need to get it under 395 horsepower. I'm pretty sure that the exhaust we put on has got it over that 400 and that's about it. So, we're going to head to Dodge. No, we're not because it's not a Dodge. Oh yeah, we're still in the Elan. I'm such a basket case. Oh, it's there. So basically what we did there was turn up to Dodge with a little tiny British Lotus Elan and just go, Can you make it faster, please? There we go, 393 horsepower for the sports one. How do we get... Now, how do you get rid of the... Oh, bollocks, you go into the race, don't you, and then detune it? Wait, how are you meant to detune it by... One eternity later. I'm confused. How are you meant to detune it to under a power bracket for a race if you can't get in the race in the first place? I'm going to Google that. Ah, okay. So one of the best ways to do it is when you're in the car, you go to machine test and you just pick any of these. And then before you go into the actual race itself, that's when you want to equip the part. Seems a bit of a roundabout way of doing it. You should just be able to do it in your garage, but you do it here, look. So engine parts. Oh, yeah, we've got a performance chip as well. 411. Oh, wow, you can... You can remap it. You can make it even more powerful. I never thought about that. There we go. So we put our normal exhaust on it. Now, does that make the difference? Does that stay like that? Because if it did, that's kind of good, but kind of bad. Hey, sometimes it may be good. Sometimes it may be shit. Let's see if it works. It worked. <laughs> what the f <laughs> So let's go into this and have a look. Yeah. It stays that way, basically, until you then undo it again. That seems like you'd have to remember a lot about that. But still, we're here in the final race of the Historic Car Cup in our 383 horsepower mental plum crazy charger. There's a GT40, a Stratos, a DB5, and we're at Grindelwald of all places. This is going to be torture. Okay, so that was a relatively all right start. Whatever is out in front is flying. I'm going to need all of my patience around here with this thing flipping out. Just doesn't climb the hill. Oh my good lord, what is going on? Okay, so I thought this was going to be a lot easier than this. And it's clearly not. <laughs> this car runs out of puff actually in the higher revs. After about 6,000, that's when it really runs out of puff. Again, it's going to come down to outdriving the AI, I think. It's not like I can really do that half the time. The GT has taken the lead and disappeared with it. Oh, my God. This is not good. This is not good. I never thought this championship would be anywhere near this difficult. I was hoping we'd just be able to do this first race. Absolutely blitz it. And then go from there, but no. It's very much about being in the right gear in this car, it seems. And I think much like one of the previous races, it's going to be about getting the right opponents. I don't even know what that thing is in front. I didn't get a chance to see it. I think it was a Stratos, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was the Stratos. For some reason, my brain forgot it was the Stratos. But GT40 takes the win. And again, we've got work to do. What sort of money do we get for uh, third place and two and a half grand? Not a lot at all. We're going to go straight for this one again. We're just going to try it because I think a lot of this is getting used to how the car is on each circuit and where you use the gears and how you sort of learn the car's behavior. So I'm going to try it here once more. There's no Ford GT. There is a Stratos and it's starting on pole. 
Now we got a relatively decent start last time. But that is much better. Now I know that the car really runs, yeah, it really runs out of puff there. Okay, it definitely does because it wasn't even accelerating past like six and a half thousand. But this is the thing, you learn the car. I feel confident now. Now there's no Ford GT in it as well. It's a shame that that's what it takes for us to win these, but, well, I'll say that I've not won it yet. We always get the run on the AI out of there. That was as flamboyant as the car looks when it sat still. I'm keeping my eye on the revs the whole time. Stratos is probably going to breeze past now, and I don't mind. No, he's just moving around behind us. Now, we only have four gears. As I've just found out. I'm really focusing right now. Oh, that's not good. However, we've got a good lead. Please let this be the one. It's actually done us all right as this charger, hasn't it? I must admit, I'm quite impressed. Right, use the run. Last time I said that we've got it, though. We crashed our MX-5. Well, we spun it. That's nice. I say it's nice in the way that it was horrendous amounts of understeer, but we still made it through and we still have the lead. We still have the lead. That's going to be a win for Plum Crazy. Oh, I'm glad that only took two attempts. F***ing hell. Yes. Historic Car Cup done. That is a lot tougher than it looks. We'd better win a good car for that. And that better be a GT40. Oh, I'm glad to see the end of that. So. Decent paycheck of eight grand. And hopefully a decent car. Gonna save? Let's go check out our car-shaped winnings. I'm excited for this. What on earth? What are the, mate? What are these cars? Why'd you win that for a historic car cup? It's pretty cool. It looks just like a Celica Touring car. I, I'm not sure on the wing, but looks very functional, doesn't it? Not sure I'm too pleased with that, but we'll keep it. Looks cool. So what's next then, I hear you say? Well, the next page is the Station Wagon Cup, which is obviously our estate cars, then the 80 sports cars, Pure Sports Car Cup and the Grand Touring Car Trophy. So naturally, we're going to go for the Station Wagons next. 394 horsepower limit all the way through. Super Speedway is the next one. That's going to be very, very interesting indeed to watch all these wagons flying around. Now, let's not forget that we won this wonderful machine. 395 horsepower limit, so we're going to do a bit of modding. We're going to keep the standard wheels on that, though, because I think it looks really good on them. I'm not a massive fan of the colour. I think it could look a bit better, but... You know, we got it for free. Let's check what turbo in it does, or at least adding more power to it. 356 horsepower for 14 grand, 393, and then that's it. Can you do it without buying stage one? Yes. So that time where we bought stage one and then bought stage two, yeah, we wasted our money straight away. 356 horsepower straight off the bat, sorted. That and tires, that's what you want. We're gonna go racing slicks, and we're gonna go for hards. And we're done. Station Wagon Cup, here we come. Can't wait to see all these dad wagons wobbling about on a speedway. <laughs> so this is basically what... All right. This is basically what became high speed ring in the third game. So you've got this longer swooping first turn. They are huge billboards. And then you've got the tighter left-hander at the end of this, so sometimes you need to brake and slow down. What is all that? Whoa. Okay, so this looks cool. I've never... I don't remember that bit. All of it being covered on the top. That's dead cool. Okay, well, this is going to be quite easy. This Subaru is fast. Flat. Lift. Lift. Wiggle, wiggle. My wagon don't wiggle, wiggle. It wiggles. Shut up. Fast boobaroo. It's probably going to be the easiest race we've won this. Considering you get a car for this as well, you could just do that again and again. Spend a bit of money tuning up a fast wagon. Win the race. Win a car. Sell the car. 
carry on, rinse, repeat, whatever. Nice. Oh, there's a Legnum VR4 in there. I want a Legnum. Oh, there's an Accord in front like ours. Hello. Well, our super cool Impreza gets the job done. Six grand. Pays for some of the mods. A new car. And we're going to go into the last race of the championship and just see if we can blitz this first time. Special stage route five. Now, this is going to go well because this car handles beautifully. I can tell you that straight off the bat, you know, even knowing that it's only on racing slicks hards anyway. From the previous Subaru that we had, they handle so well in this game. So I think this is going to be uh, quite easy. We'll see. There's a pair of other Impreza's in the race with us. There's a white one on the right. Yellow one on the left. Oh, it looks so good. Wait, is ours a different spec? No, it's not, is it? Oh, there's a wall there, Chaz. I was too busy looking at the pretty estate. Yum. Yes. Grip. Hello, too much grip. Good brakes as well. Oh, I love this car. We've loved both of our Subarus so far. Ah, big crotch. Turning too early. Whoa. Right, where's this bloody chicane? Well, that clearly didn't go as well for me as it went for the AI. And neither did that. Oh, that was a scrappy final sector. Get away from the wall. We're in a straight line now. I can deal with that. The left rear of the car is having some sort of seizure. Got a fellow Subaru right behind us, like a BMW on the M6. Hey, up. Oh. Wow. I'm grateful that there is not damage on this game. Because that would have been very, very race-ending. And I don't think we would have had a Subaru anymore. It's just typical, though. Once the car gets rotating, you can just floor it. And it just turns. Just brings the front end around so beautifully. All right, we know. Oh, press the wrong button. Sorry. We're not miles out in front here. Oh, no. We carried a lot of pace through it, but sideways, that's the problem. Oh, we lost a little bit of speed there, but I think we're going to be all right. Whew. Well, that's that done. Two championships down in one episode. Not the whole thing, obviously, but still. Get in. Really happy with that. Well done to the Subaru. Two very simple mods. Whack a great big turbo on it and give it some decent tyres. Now, they were the version 6s. We were the version 5. So they were updated and slightly different specs to ours, but that's a good list of cars, isn't it? A Legnum Super VR4, Honda Accord Wagon, and, of course, the Baru. That's another nice paycheck of 7 grand. Puts us over 120 and gives us another new car. It's another point to save, though, and then we'll see what we've got. And that will round out the episode. There you go, then. Station Wagon Cup complete. And two cars to look at. Mugen Accord Wagon. A Stagia 260 RS. Tuned by Nismo. Wow. That's the... What are them wheels? That is horrendous. Goodbye. I should like that, but I just don't. That, on the other hand, is so ridiculous. It is amazing. Jesus, look at that. That's bonkers. <laughs> that is so bonkers. I really like that. I really like that. We're keeping hold of that thing. Good Lord. Big fan. Very, very big fan. And once again, we find ourselves ending an episode with a brand new bright yellow car in front of us. But still, some nice progress there after what was a very tough time in the historic car cup. Thank you very... Uh. Hopefully we can continue that now as we go through the rest of the championships on that page. Thank you very much for watching, though. It's been a pleasure as always, and I'll see you in the next one.